well, just a couple of days and it's already here. <laughs> More parts. I always love getting new parts from Z1 Motorsports. Guys, we're gonna do a little unboxing today, installation probably this weekend, but before we get started, you guys know that I got the new Speed Culture decals. Really quick, just wanted to go over uh, how to install these. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure many of us have uh, installed decals before on our cars, either brake calipers or quarter glass windows, for example. Uh, but it is winter time and it's cold in a lot of people's areas and it does make a difference uh, installing these. Make sure, you know, where you're installing them is relatively warm. Make sure your decal is warm too. Don't keep these out in the garage or in your glove box if your car is outside. Uh, but the first thing I always do uh, no matter where you get the decal from, it might be a Z1 Motorsports decal or wherever, I just rub my fingers over them just to make sure um, the decal itself is going to pull away um, on this little, you know, on the little piece of scotch tape. And also make sure the surface that you're putting it on is clean and dry. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. You just want to kind of take your time uh, when you're starting to peel the decal off of the backing uh, paper itself because it's not a solid real sticker it's very thin letters uh, you would just want to be kind of careful and take your time and peeling it back and see it sticks to uh, this sort of masking tape um, type deal um, you just take your time it comes off uh, pretty good if you see it starting to kind of pull if you can see the letter there, just kind of stick your finger, uh, squeeze your fingers over it there and just make sure it's adhered. Like I said, the thin letters tend to do that a little bit more. Um, but other than that, it comes off quite easily. And then bam, there you go. Then the same is also true, don't touch the decal itself. Same is also true when you apply it to the surface. underline helps you get it straight. Uh, you can run over it with a credit card, squeegee, uh, your finger works just fine. Especially if the car window is warm or the surface you're applying it to is warm, uh, the decal itself will adhere quite well. But again, I just apply pressure over it, making sure you could even run your finger over the letters themselves. Just making sure that it's adhered fully to the window. And then you just peel this scotch tape back slowly. And it really, I said scotch tape, it's more of a masking tape, but um, it sticks really well. You shouldn't have to worry, but I definitely want to make sure people are taking their time doing it because they are thin letters and they can cause issues from time to time. But that looks sick. Love that. It's a very, very simple installation of the decal. Just take your time, like I said. Hope you guys enjoy them. Again, check out the description uh, if you wanna pick a couple of these up. I have white and black available. $5 for the set, so you get one for passenger side and driver side. Uh, or if you want to use them for your Akibono big brakes, they work for the front brake calipers uh, perfectly. That's kind of how they were designed. Uh, that's the intention. I'll have smaller ones coming soon for the rear Akibonos as well. Uh, but right now, $5 for a pair. So you get two, two decals, one for left and right, passenger driver, five bucks. Uh, shoot me a message on this video. Check me out on Instagram and send me a, 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 a direct message, a DM. Uh, and uh, we'll get squared away and get you however many you need. Let's get to unboxing this thing from Z1. So I've really just been feeling like I needed to buy something for the car. I've been waiting, you know, we had holiday season and whatnot, and um, just wasn't sure what next steps would be, but this is something I've waited for for quite some time. Obviously large and flat. The crazy thing is I ordered it yesterday. And it was at my door today when I got home from work. Great thing about Z1, super fast shipping.
we got the lower engine cover for the shroud, under shroud. This looks sick. If you're curious, comes in two pieces. Looks great. Oh man, can't wait to get this on. Hardware and instructions. I'll put a link in the description if you guys aren't familiar with this, but it's got an access panel that allows you to change your oil super quick. You know, we have to take that the plastic shroud off, you know, from underneath the car with all those 18 million little bolts. That's so annoying every time you want to access anything under the car. Um, so this is going to be really nice. Not only does it look good, uh, it should, you know, protect the undercarriage of the car a little bit better as well because it's aluminum. So it's just really lightweight, maybe a pound or two. Um, the access panel, that, that makes it worth it for me by itself. I can't stand taking that entire shroud off to change the oil. As a matter of fact, when I do this installation, I'll probably change the oil. Again, I'll put a link in the description to that Z1 Motorsports uh, undercarriage shroud. I'm not sure what they call it, aluminum shroud. Uh, looks really, really sick. Uh, right at about $200 shipped to my door. And again, I got it next day. Ordered it yesterday, late morning. Had it today. Really pumped. Uh, we'll do the installation this weekend, so stay tuned for that. You guys, don't forget about these decals. I hope you like them. I think they're super awesome. And... Uh, only five bucks. I didn't want to make them expensive. I want I want people to start rocking these all over the place. If, you're, if obviously, I'm sure you can figure out what it says. It's an abbreviation for speed culture, and again, they were kind of designed to fit the big brakes because, as you know, we got the big big brake uh, front calipers ready, and I wanted some uh, unique um, decals for my own. So pick one up. Let me know in the comments, shoot me a message on Instagram, get you set up. And stick around guys, big things coming for the queue on Speed Culture Studios. Got another purchase coming up. I'm making it tomorrow or the next couple of days. It's a, it's a good chunk of change. So I kinda gotta talk myself into dropping the coin, if you know what I'm saying. But stick around for that, big things coming up. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick little unboxing video. Links to everything you need to know in the description. Appreciate the support, guys. We'll see you in the next one.